I'm Nina Sale. I'm Demar Say. I'm Arielle. And we're so, so do for two. two. And also our pug is going to be <laughs> sitting on our laps during this video. Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing is My Princess. And this is one that came out in 2011, which is a pretty recent one. Okay, so our main, our character, so our uh, male lead is Song Sung Hoon, plays Park Ki Young. Kim Tae Hee plays Lee Sol. Park Yi Jin plays Oh Jun Ju. Ru So Young plays Nam Yoo Woo. <laughs> okay, so the main characters in this are obviously like major Korean, South Korean actors, and uh, Song Se Hoon, we will, we'll be doing a review re right now of Autumn in My Heart after this, and he was also in Summer Sense. He's been in a lot of really famous dramas, and then obviously Kim Tae Hee is, is a famous actress for being an iris and other things like that. So big names in this one, and they don't disappoint, I think. Yeah. It's a really sweet fun drama. Yeah, so the plot basically is that you have a revival of the South Korean monarchy mm -hmm. uh, and that the, sort of the, the plot twist is that Kim Tae Hee's character, you know, she she's acting as a princess yeah. and then she finds out she really is a princess. Yeah, and like the thing is her family sort of brought down by the by um Hae Young's family and the whole idea is that he's going to give his inheritance to help revive the monarchy uh, and then somehow along the way they fall in love. <laughs> so definitely a sweet story. I mean, chemistry, I saw it right away. Like, yeah. even with them, just their, their bickering, the sort of anger, and then obviously the sweetness later on. And I thought the other characters added something to the chemistry mm. here, and which kind of leads us into Love Triangle. I mean, there's another girl who is sort of the long-time, you know, uh, friend of the family who's sort of intended uh, for Hae Young, and she's really, like, a vicious, cruel character. And then the boy, uh, who is just the crush of Lee Sol, um, is Jung Woo, and he's an archaeology teacher, professor at our school, and we were anthropology major, so we appreciate the If whole. we had had him as a professor, we would have been really happy. Yeah, and I mean, he sort of, he never really, like, he never really complicates it with Lee Sol. If anything, he just flirts with her sometimes. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, really, the more the issue is with uh, Yoon Ju and, you know, the almost, like, intended marriage and kind of getting over that. But I think that there's really not that... They have enough on their own to get over, so you don't really need other people yeah. <laughs> to get over that. <laughs> I mean, making a mistaken identity, that's the main thing. Yeah, her identity is really, obviously, important and integral to the plot. Uh, and it reminds me a lot of Princess Hours, that mm -hmm. you have that monarchy. And I think, too, her family, like, her, her parents, and mm -hmm. learning about her father, and sort of the hardship he went to went through while she was while he was alive and things like that. Um, and misunderstandings with this. I mean, yeah, throughout the entire thing, like, if it's not a mistaken identity, it's a misunderstanding <laughs> in this drama. Um, and all really drives the plot. And this was one where, like, you definitely want to see every episode because yeah. it really, you know, everything's happening is really dramatic and funny. So, yeah, definitely watch all of them if you're going to watch this drama. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Bad Guy Turn Good. Um, I mean, I think if anything, he's just, he's kind of unfairly getting, um, you know, blamed or he's, he's dealing with the past with his parents or his grandparents' mistakes and it's all put onto him. And I think that that's not really a bad guy turned good. And if anything, he's just sort of dealing and... With family issues yeah. and like ancestry and what that means and, um... In a modern of course, he becomes the good guy. <laughs> yes, it works out well in the end. Piggyback ride. Okay, this is one of the ones I think is like a really good example of piggyback ride, and he's clearly excellent at it because we're gonna talk about that in Autumn in My Heart. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, the piggyback ride here. I mean, Maybe the is... most wanted piggyback ride companion mm -hmm. would be Song Yoon, <laughs> <laughs> um, because this is one where they like, drunken. You know, she's drunk. He gives her a piggyback ride, and then it leads to their kiss. first kiss. And this is, one's in our kisses. Yeah, which is a really yeah sweet kiss. So um, I think it definitely the kisses in this though there aren't a lot. They're really cute. They're good. And good kisses. Yeah. So yeah, I think what he says when like when he says like tells her to forget about what's gonna happen next. I thought that was really sweet. So. Very good. Okay. Um, fashion. fashion. Okay, I love what she wore. The best wardrobe. She yeah. has one of the cutest wardrobes we've seen. Uh, and all of her headbands are adorable. This is one of the so. things where a lot of what she was wearing in this be has become really popular. We saw, here, like, yeah. here. Um, and obviously this is rec really current. But, I mean, I remember seeing this and then... A couple months later, it was like all it was was capes and you know booties uh, that were like suede or things like that. So yeah, definitely like really fashionable, really in the moment of uh, being 2011, 2012. So uh, music, Great fashion. I mean, not really. I don't really this remember music. The soundtrack. So yeah, it's not a, good. a big part of it. Okay, so rating mark. Okay, I rate this a nine and a half. <gasps> uh, I think that my princess, you know, is big names and it doesn't disappoint. Uh, great storyline. If you if you like princess hours or things like that, you know, watch this drama. If you like 
I don't know, romance, like anything that would bring you to a Korean drama, it's pretty much in this drama, so. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. go with the same, like, nine, nine and a half. I think it's great because, you know, like you were saying, if you like the princess stories, we tend to always mm-hmm. lean towards princess stories, and this one is really adorable, but it's a little more adult, and mm-hmm. it's not quite as childish, and it's not pandering, so I definitely enjoy, just the story was so much fun to watch, so I really yeah. like the way it unfolded. There you go. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye.